So today I got an M365 brake light. It arrived in the in the post. So I'm gonna put it on my uh, Fido D2S, and I'm just gonna put it onto the mud guard. And this is how I'm gonna show you how to do it. So what I did is is um, three holes here. One of the holes was the existing hole from where the um, little mud flap was riveted on. I drilled that out and I drilled two other holes that um, aligned with the holes that already came in the light. And then here I just used some of this binding strip just cut into little pieces. I'm going to space it out along the mud guard and then I'm going to put the the wire in it and then put uh, a little bit of heat shrink and solder the wires together just to give it an extension so that it'll go into the frame. So this is it um, finally installed. All I did was put those clips in and put a little bit of um, glue from a glue gun. But at this end here, there's a lot of talk about how weak it is. So what I did was I made a little insert that's going to go in there and attach it. First of all, I made a pattern out of cardboard then I cut it out of aluminium, then I beat it to the correct shape. Then I'm going to rivet two rivets there, and then that bolt will hold it as well. And there we go, with it riveted in. Um, just remember, the length of these rivets is, is important because we don't want them to foul on the wheel. Just make sure you've got enough clearance there. Make sure that this is actually when it's clamped in. There's no danger of this coming off and catching the wheel. Because if it does, remember the wheel's going down at this, it'll really it'll really mess it up, probably cut into your tire. So just be careful that that's not going to be able to pull off. I don't know if you can see there, there's enough clearance on the Allen key. And as you can see, there it is installed. Um, and rather than take the back wheel off, I let the tire down. And I also ground down a little allen key so it gives me enough clearance to actually get the allen key in to tighten it without taking the back wheel off. So today from Amazon all my buck converters arrived so I'm going to take one out here. It's got a little potentiometer on it so we can select the voltage that we want. And then I connected the external batteries I made and I went through the wiring to figure out which one actually produces voltage when the lights turned on. So if you look there, there's no voltage. If we turn the light on, light comes on and we get 39.1 volts or 39.2. Turn the light off, off again. So we've now worked out that it's the white and the black. Black is ground and white is positive. And we're going to connect that into the buck converter where it says in and then we'll adjust it to get the 5 volts that we need for the backlight that I previously fitted. Okay, just been turning that um, little pot there until um, we've got 5 volts. Now I'm going to connect the rear light and we're going to check if it works. Okay, there we go, loosely connected. Let's go have a look around at the light. Okay. Front light on back light on. Let's check if it turns off. Go to the light switch. Off. On. Perfect. So it works now with the front light. So all back together after putting the uh, tail light in. And let's just have a look. Turn it on. And uh, let's go to press the light on. Front light on and back light on. Perfect. I'll put a uh, link in the description below of where I bought the parts and I'm not sure the cost, it wasn't very expensive. 